Hey my loves, it is a beautiful sunny sunny day. I decided that the topic is something heavy on my heart that is always gonna be heavy on my heart because I just see it too much and I'm tired of it. I'm gonna be talking about holistic wellness and the fact that black people have been lied to. We've been lied to, we've been ran amok, led astray. If you look at history, I mean, hey, it's all there. Medicine that we know, the Eurocentric medicine, it's not, I'm not gonna say it's not the right way. It's a way, but it's not the African descendant way. So if y'all don't know, I'll give you a little backstory. I was a medic in the army, which I actually ended up leaving the army. That's another story for another time. <laughs> but i have a little bit of background in emt as well as being a medic so studying the body and um different symptoms that the body can have and you know just really getting that eurocentric ideology um behind medicine as of lately i've been really really into like healing the body naturally like a lot of earth medicinal plants and stuff like that basically all medicine on earth starts off as a plant i don't care what no one says we had to make medicine from other properties found on earth so what they don't tell you is medication it actually starts off as herbs it starts off as plants from mother earth what happens then though is that they kind of change a little stuff they add synthetic things to these um natural herbs and they kind of change it up after i did a lot of research as far as like the eurocentric ideology i started understanding the more western approach or as some would say like the african descendant holistic health approach a lot of these disorders that we have from the body can actually be traced down to a lifestyle so something that has has manifested from the mind body and spirit uh, from an illness so okay so I'll give you an example so a lot of people have strokes or sometimes they have heart palpitations or they may have high blood pressure when you go to the doctor they're just gonna put a machine on your arm and they're kind of gonna test you know they're gonna get a number they're gonna get symptoms from you this is all body physical things that are happening and I know this for a fact because I used to work in a clinic where you had to listen to somebody's body symptoms. You got to listen to their heart, check for little stuff like that and listen to their symptoms. But what a lot of people don't understand is that sometimes it starts off as an illness within the mind or with the body or with the spirit. So I'll use a heart attack for an example. So with heart attack, that just means that a lot, there's a lot of pressure on the heart. Your heart basically goes into overload. It's too much on the heart. And a lot of people don't understand, but of course they keep this information all away from us obviously but your heart chakra is a very very important part of the all the chakras are important but the heart chakra is very very important in that if there's a lot of things like if you're have a lot of built-up emotions in your heart or if you're not living your truth that can actually have an effect on you physically a lot of people don't understand that your mental can then manifest into a physical disease for you there's actually a lot of friends that I've been talking to, like nurse friends. I have a lot of nurse friends. I went to ECU. And there's just certain things that they learn, that I've learned as well going through EMT school. It's pretty much the same as what nurses learn. A lot of the information that I was coming across, I didn't really understand it because I knew that it was something more to it. I never knew what it was, but I just know that it was very hard for me to grasp it because I knew that there was a deeper meaning. Like they're just, they're skimming the surface. The reason why a lot of people have to go to the doctor, then you have to go to the endocrinologist, then you have to go to someone to get a, a UA or something like that. They have broken up all of, you know, the mind, the body, and the spirit, just like we have a psychologist then you have to go to the doctor then after the doctor you have to go somewhere else it's like all these kind of places that we have to go to and it kind of makes people feel hopeless it makes people feel like their condition or what they have may not be addressed so people kind of sweep it under the rug or they just take whatever medication that they're told to take because as americans that's you know we go to the doctor we hear what the doctor says and that's the end all be all but a lot of people don't understand like i was looking into autism autism is basically where an individual has a lack of certain proteins in the body certain amino acids certain brain functions um have been diminished because neural pathways have been diminished because there's no new 
nutrients in the body so a lot of people when they get this uh title or this label they cling on to it and that's actually why i've been wanting to get out of counseling school because what we're basically doing in counseling school and anybody can say what they have to say in the comments but it's true we're giving these individuals a title and we're giving them this thing that they're going to latch on to you're going to give this person a title a disorder say general anxiety disorder or insomnia or any type of disorder in that dsm-5 and people are going to cling on to this identity and you don't have to when you're labeled with adhd when you're labeled with autism or or a narcissistic personality disorder you can change that but from what i'm seeing a lot of people they cling on to this title whether they want to whether they know that they don't have to i don't know but i'm here to tell you don't have to you don't have to make that for yourself you can always change the kids that I work with they have these disorders that they're labeled with from the DSM-5 and they cling on to this title they go around saying um Miss Bianca I can't do this because I have ADHD and that just breaks my heart to hear kids say that especially at a young age because they're clinging on to that and they're claiming it for themselves words are very powerful words are basically a spell that you cast onto yourself so if you go around saying I have lupus or I have high blood pressure or I have diabetes you're clinging on to that when you can in reality change it for yourself like the book that I'm reading right now I don't have it with me if you guys follow me on TikTok you know that I just posted a TikTok recently about the African holistic health and the book that I read is by Layla Africa and it is a very very good book he goes in great detail about different disorders that America gives us they are important to understand but if you if you really Really, really know like lifestyle changes are very very important and they just don't teach that they just teach pills or surgery and or something you know that's an, a temporary fix but in reality you can have an everlasting fix you can change your lifestyle but no one teaches that there are a few holistic doctors but they're very very thin there's not a lot of them most of your doctors are going to teach that eurocentric ideology as far as medicine and um surgery goes i just wanted to get all that off my chest i hope you guys enjoyed the video and listen to me rant please comment below how you guys feel if you all have a similar experience with doctors or conditions that you're told that you have and you just think it's kind of hopeless and that you just don't know the answers you get the run around or what have you feel free to come below reach out to me dm me i'm always looking up for talking to somebody so yeah thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already be sure to follow me on these hidden gems i make oils i make herbal tea blends i'm about to release a yoni steam so if you haven't already follow me on instagram so that way you know all the products that i drop every time i drop something new and i will see you guys next time i don't want to